So, about two months ago, I came across this all-in-one productivity application called Dart on Reddit. And by all-in-one, I mean the app has detailed task scheduling, focus mode with timer and relaxing sounds, and it's also a note-taking application with text editing features. You can create reminders and they work pretty well. I sometimes even forget and this application will just blast an alarm on my screen. Unlike most reminder applications that just fail to remind you on anything, maybe due to the fact that they stop working in the background. This application, even after not opening for days, will still show reminders. Alarms will just start ringing on the recurring tasks I've set, like morning meditation at 6 a.m. and morning workout at 7 a.m. They always ring. Creating tasks or to-dos comes with necessary details as well, like adding categories, making them one time or repeating, adding a start and end time, adding notes, and mind you, this note is different from the application functioning as a note-taking application. There is a whole tab dedicated for that. This is just notes on the tasks you are creating, and of course, the reminders. And I mentioned categories, there is a tab dedicated for that as well, where you can manage them. And there is search also. And on top of everything, there is app color theming and switching between light and dark modes. Plus, the UI looks great. It's just a perfect application which is super nice to use. And it's totally free with no ads. So, this is one application you should definitely check out. Hey guys, in this video, we are looking at 10 Android applications which I will definitely install on every phone and not the major ones like ChatGPT or WhatsApp or default gallery application or reddit but the little known utility applications that are super useful so if that sounds interesting hit the like button also don't forget to consider subscribing to the channel along the way at app number two is pixel bookmarks and if you haven't heard about this application before well if you usually save links whether within applications or at random places on your phone or maybe even pasting links in a note-taking application well i seriously recommend a link management application to you and none other than Pixel Bookmarks. First off, it is clean and well designed, so even though you are saving tons of links, it doesn't look messy and complicated. You get neatly organized categories or collections with the uncategorized links showing up on the front page. Saving links is simple, you can do that without even leaving the application you are in. It's got link tagging, reminders on links, backup and restore, changing UI appearance and a whole bunch of UI settings some of which you'll need a premium version to unlock, but you still get a lot with the standard version. As an app reviewer, or at least I try to be, I've come across so many file management applications, open source ones, not open source ones, and I still lean on Mixplorer as my number one file manager. It's been for almost a decade. The features and why is endless. I can just mention a few. One favorite being the recent tab where you can quickly see a history of opened files and folders by just swiping right and accessing this list. You can also switch in between bookmarks and history right here. So you can bookmark favorite folders here also for easy access. There's also multi-tab navigation. You get all these useful tools at the bottom including search and a whole lot of appearance settings and there is more, even on root access which I'm not really into but this app really goes in detail and is very smooth and easy to use. Last year, one of the most talked about Android applications was Blockit. And if you don't know of this application, it can actually save you from your phone's distractions and there is no way around it, unless you spend real money. So that is what this application is about. And aside being super cool in terms of UI, it is very robust in its function. You just set your time or choose from the 15, 30 minutes or hour preset available. Once it starts, you cannot have access in any way. Not even a phone restart can stop it. But if you purchase parachutes which can be used to stop a particular session, that is after you've exhausted the free ones, then of course you can have access to whatever on your phone. I personally have this widget on my home screen, you've probably seen it in some of my videos before. I've set this for when I'm watching a football match so I can focus. It's a pretty solid application. Pixel Search is also another super useful application which most people should know and use. It basically can find anything on your phone for you. We are talking applications, media files, documents, contacts, you know, stuff that you might quickly need but you have to open other applications before you have access. And what makes it more easy is having the applications widget on your home screen. Plus, it has fuzzy search so you get results from several sources, including the internet. 
and within the application, you can customize a couple of things and go through settings for better usage. But for the core functionality of this application, it is super incredible. And so if you do not own a Google Pixel smartphone, this application brings you that feature and for free. If you love consuming music from your phone with any Bluetooth device or wired headphones, you definitely can use some audio enhancements, you know, for rich consumption. And one application I always have running in the background for this is Wavelet. And if you haven't heard about this application before, it comes with audio enhancement tools like Graphic Equalizer, Equal Loudness, Bass Tuner and more, and it's very powerful. I'm sure every user can attest to that fact, so you should definitely try it too if you haven't. Most cleaning applications on Android do not work as they are meant to and aren't even modding, which is a deal breaker for me. Express Cleaner is the best cleaning application I recommend. Sure, there is SDMade or Gator and the others which I'm sure most of you might be using, which is totally fine. However, for convenience, rich features and overall modding interface, you should definitely use Express Cleaner. And it comes with several tools, App Manager for removing unused applications, WhatsApp Cleaner, File Manager, finding and removing old photos. One favorite feature I love about it is deep cleaning app caches. With this, the application can enter every single application installed on your phone and remove caches one by one, which will then free up a ton of space. It takes a while to finish this process depending on the number of applications, but it's totally incredible. And the scanning process of this app is quick too, it is smooth and efficient. Speaking of open source, another useful utility application is called LocalSend, and I feel everyone must know this application by now. The app makes transfer of files between devices super easy, even from Android to iOS, and vice versa. So long as both devices are connected on the same Wi-Fi network, big files, small files, any type of files can be transferred. Nothing beats proper function and clean design in an application, and when it comes to finance tracking apps, my favorite is Everplan. And I think you should try it too, if you haven't already. The app is super clean, the material you interface. Everything is well laid out. You simply add your wallet and transactions. I've been using this application since April of this year. And aside your incomes and expenses tracking, you can also track subscriptions with reminders. You can add new categories for sorting transactions. And it's as simple as that. Backup and restore is also available in case you want to move your data to another phone. There is biometric lock to prevent unauthorized access and it supports different currencies and languages. The good thing is all these 10 applications are free to install, so let me know which one of them you haven't used yet. Comment below some of your favorite little known utility applications as well. And if you liked the video, again consider subscribing to the channel, leave a like and as always, thank you for watching.